Hello students, welcome back to computer class. In the last few classes, we have completed the course of first assessment. So today, we will start the course of second assessment. In the second assessment, we have total two chapters from book 3 and book 4. And now, we will start the chapter number 3 from book 3. So I request to all the students to take out your book number 3 and pay full attention to the video. So this is chapter 3 and the name of the chapter is more on paint. So we all are very much familiar with the word paint because we all like to draw and paint, isn't it? So the same thing paint we can do on a computer. Okay, so now see the chapter focus. Chapter focus means about these topics we will learn within this chapter. Okay, so the first line MS Paint is a program in Windows Accessories. It is a program used to draw and paint. Let us now revise the basic tools and shapes of MS Paint. We all know the MS Paint is a program. It is a software. Alright. In Windows Accessories. And it is used to draw and paint. That we already know. And now we will revise some basic tools. Some other tools. What are the tools with that we can draw and paint. The first tools are tools group. Pencil tool. See the picture. It is a pencil. This tool looks and works like a pencil. The same thing if we draw something on a paper, we need a pencil like this. And if we want to draw on a computer, we need this pencil tool, this one. Second one is eraser tool. And the picture is about a eraser. This tool is used to erase a part of a drawing or the whole drawing on the computer. It works just like an eraser. Same thing. That eraser is doing and in MS Paint program, this eraser tool will do. Third one is fill with color tool. And the picture is of a bucket and following some colors. This tool is used to fill a closed shape with the color of your choice. So after finishing your drawing, if you want to color it, that time you need your color box. The same thing is happening in MS Paint also. After finishing your drawing, if you want to color, then you have to choose this fill with color tool. So the next one is shapes group. In MS Paint, there are some shapes tool which are used to make different shapes. Like the first one is line tool. Here the, you can see the picture. This tool is used to draw lines. You can use it to make thin or thick lines of any color. Next is oval tool. This tool is used to draw ovals or circles. Up next is rectangle tool. This tool is used to draw rectangles or squares. And the last one is rounded rectangle tool. This tool is used to draw rectangles or squares with rounded corners. This rounded rectangle tool is slightly different to rectangle tool because you can see the picture in the rectangle tool all the corners are pointed but in the rounded rectangle tool all the corners are not pointed it is rounded. So this is the difference between rectangle tool and rounded rectangle tool. Next one is some more tools in paint. Let us now learn about some more tools available in paint. Call out feature. In paint, you can make your own characters which can be shown speaking. Just like you see in a comic strip. This can be done using the call out feature. And this feature is very interesting which we can use in MS Paint. To do so, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Draw and paint your character. 
if you want to use this color feature you have to draw something of your choice any picture any house any object which you like like this here one girl's picture has been drawn step 2 click on a call out button on the shapes group you can choose any of the three types of callouts in the shapes group these three shapes are called call out button so anyone you can choose and you can put like this step 3 drag and drop the mouse on the screen just next to the character's mouth to make the call out it's like the this character is speaking the sentence then the step 4 click on the text tool text tool is this one a step 5 drag and drop the mouse inside the call out like this then step 6 type the characters dialog like here it has been written hello friends I am Tina so you can write anything of your choice like hi everyone how are you all or else you can write hello my dear friends my name is this or anything whatever you like so this way you can use the call out feature next one is color picker tool and see the picture it looks like a dropper so students tell me do you know how does a dropper works it's very simple I'm telling you if you have ever noticed any eyedrop portal there you may have seen how does a dropper works you have to press the upper top that means this part upper part upper top of the dropper by putting it inside the bottle and then you have to drop it on your eyes by pressing on the same place again that means here only so in the same way if you like any color from any other drawing instead of using from the color box that time you have to use the color picker tool understood see this tool is used to pick and choose a color from the drawing instead of choosing from the color box here you see one example has been given look at the adjacent picture this picture this is a very beautiful picture which is a about some flowers and the sky so Aryan wants to use the blue color of the sky he does not want to use any other shade of blue so what he will do that time he can use the color picker tool he will put the dropper here and he will squeeze the color from this drawing and then he will apply it wherever he wants the next one is to use this tool follow the steps given below step 1 click on the color picker tool step 2 click on the color you want to use from the drawing the color you want get selected in step 3 use the desired color and it's done next one is magnifier tool and see the picture it is a magnifying glass so everyone take your pencils and underline the magnifier tool works like a magnifying glass I can ask you that which tool works like a magnifying glass that time you have to answer me that the magnifier tool works like a magnifying glass next is it can be used to increase or decrease the size of an image so if you want to see a image in bigger size means very big that time you have to choose magnifier tool or if you want to see any picture in a small size that time also you will use this magnifier tool but remember one thing the real size of the picture does not change it will remain same it only looks bigger or smaller to use this tool follow the steps given below step 1 draw any picture in paint step 2 
click on the magnifier tool that means here you will click step 3 move the mouse pointer on the drawing step 4 left click the mouse to increase the size and step 5 right click the mouse to decrease the size these two steps are important because by clicking on left mouse button we have you will increase the size and by clicking on the right click button you will decrease the size understood and step 6 continue to click till you get the size you want and that which size you want that will depend up to you and you have to continue this process until you will get the real size which you want this editing colors in ms paint there are more than 16 million colors that can be used in paint students remember 1 million equal to 10 lakh so how many colors are there in ms paint there are more than 16 million colors but you can see only a few of them in the colors group you can edit these colors and make new ones that means you have to do mix and match isn't it so to edit colors in paint follow the steps given below step one click on edit colors here edit colors has been written and some shades of colors are also there in the symbol the edit colors window will appear step two select any basic color from the basic group here you can see the picture first you have to choose here edit colors then this page will come on step 3 drag the slider on the right up and down till you get the color of your choice after that you have to choose your color which one you like and then step 4 click on the add to custom colors button this one add to custom colors and then step 5 click on the ok button this one ok the edited color appears in the bottom row of the colors group and the new color will come here like this so in this way you can mix and match and you can make a new color of your choice selection techniques in ms paint beside all the tools available in paint there are features like cut copy paste crop resize and rotate too before we begin to learn this let us learn how to select a drawing or a part of it so so many features are there in paint program isn't it already we have learned so many tools so many shapes then editing colors and all after that we will learn about cut copy paste crop resize and rotate also but before that we have to know how to select a drawing isn't it so we will start to learn how to select a drawing in a ms paint so actually there are three types of selection number one is rectangular selection number two is free form selection and three number is select all so the first one is rectangular selection to select a part of your drawing follow the steps given below step one is click on the down arrow on the select button in the image group on the home tab like this this is the picture you have to select here this picture rectangular picture and select also has been written there isn't it then this box will appear and rectangular selection you have to click here then step number two click on the rectangular selection already done step three click and drag the mouse over the area to be selected your selection will have a dotted rectangular box around it so how much selection you want in that part only you have to select like here you see in this tree only this upper part of the drawing has been selected by using this rectangular 
selection next one is free form selection you can also select your drawing in any shape you can use the free form selection option to use the free form selection follow this steps step 1 click on the down arrow on the select button in the image group a list of options will appear step 2 click on the free form selection step 3 click and drag the mouse in any desired shape when you are done your selection will have a dotted rectangular box around it so here we can see the same place on this rectangular shape we have to click and this option box will appear and we have to click on free form selection and then we can select the object in our desired shape last one is select all the select all option from the drop down menu that appears on clicking the down arrow on the select button can be used to select the entire drawing so if you want to select the entire drawing that time there in the select option you have to click and that time you have to select on select all and the full drawing the entire drawing will be selected